With the use of Roblox's social service, you can add an invite players button to allow players of your game to send invites to their friends with just a couple clicks. This is an easy way to build a larger player base in your game with just a simple feature. The first thing we need obviously is a GUI button. This is pretty simple to make. As you can see here, I've made one with just a screen GUI, a text button, and a text label formatted inside. Then I've just put this into starter GUI and now wherever your button is, is where you're going to want to put a local script. Let's start off this script by localizing the three things we'll be using. The button, which in this case is the parent of the script, Roblox social service, and the client's local player. Next, we'll make a function designated to run when the button is pressed. We'll call it on button pressed. The first thing inside this function we need is to use the function social service can send game invite a sync with the player argument passed in. Now, since this function makes a call outside of our game into Roblox to get this information, we should also wrap this function in a P call. A P call, which stands for protected call, is a Lua function that handles an error without breaking the function if an error occurs. In this case, the client's connection could fail to send the request or the social service API could be down. The first result, which we'll call success, is going to be either true or false depending on whether the protected call was successful or not. We also have a second return variable named result to capture the result. If success is true, then the result is going to be the returning value of return social service can send game invite async player. If success is false, then the result is going to be the error message that occurred. In any case, we want to check if the result is equal to true. Then we'll use the social service function prompt game invite passed with the player as an argument again. Lastly, let's connect the button events mouse button one click and touch tap to our on button pressed function. These events are self explanatory. Mouse button one click handles left mouse button clicks, and touch tap handles touch screen presses. And that's it. To test this out, publish this game to Roblox and play it with your game page. You don't have to make it public to test sending invites, only if you want to. Here, you can see me sending an invite to my other account that is signed into my phone, and the invite I received here. I hope this tutorial has been useful to you. I appreciate any and all feedback, so let me know what you guys think. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.